face masks, gloves, disinfectants, and hand sanitizers. Half a dozen medical students are helping in the fight against the coronavirus in their own way. Well, a couple of my classmates and I uh, started Med Supply Drive. Um, our clinical rotations were delayed, and at the same time, we were hearing this uh, very intense need from emergency rooms and hospitals for uh, PPE, personal protective gear. And so we started this initiative as six students at Georgetown, and now it's grown over to, to over 600 students wow. in the country. All members are still medical students, so while they can't physically help in the hospitals, they can round up and donate PPE equipment. I didn't think that I'd be useful on the front line, but I could definitely supplement the front line, you know, this way. Volunteers started with calling various places that they thought could still have some sort of PPE and disinfectants left. And since all university courses were being conducted online and students went back home for the time of the quarantine, they managed to conduct their volunteering work in 42 American states. We started off mostly by reaching out to different companies like research labs, tattoo parlors, uh, nail salons, dentist offices, just like maybe construction companies, anywhere that we think would have um, PPE like gloves or masks that they can donate. We like called them, emailed them, um, and we got a lot of positive responses from places like that. Students themselves pick up the donations or have them brought to their doorstep. Many of them have dedicated some space in their apartments to serve as an impromptu warehouse. We have a taped off area in my house so that all the supplies will stay there. So when people drop off supplies to my house, um, they leave it on the porch and then I come down with gloves and I wipe it off and then I put it in the clean area so that it stays contained in that one place. Then the supplies get packaged and taken to a number of hospitals. I spent time making contacts at the hospital, so I would just cold call the front desk and say, hi, I have supplies, can, can someone take them in the hospital? Um, and, and from there, we started building this relationship where they would reach out to me and say, hey, Neej, we're in need of this. Um, and I would reach back out to the departments and to the labs and say, does anyone else have this? And I just kind of blast out emails like that. On average, in every major city, about 10 hospitals work with Med Supply Drive. The organization has been working for less than a month, but the students have already collected and donated thousands of boxes with medical supplies and PPE. We've had over 100,000 donations mm -hmm. completed and over 10,000 masks, I believe. Med Supply, you have completely changed the game for us. Thank you so much. You are phenomenal humans and thank you, thank you, thank you. There's just genuinely no way to say how appreciative we are. Despite the great start, volunteers say the supply of face masks and gloves is running low. So they are hoping for alternative ways to help doctors and have already found volunteers who want to sew masks for the hospital staffs and 3D print hard face masks. For Lisa Bakalets in Washington, NRI's VOA News.